Hi, I'm Drew Goble, conservation technician with Cincinnati Parks. And we're here in Parker Woods today to talk about invasive plants. What are they, what are their impacts, and what you can do about it. An invasive plant is a non-native plant. That means it's a plant that comes from another continent, say Europe, Asia, somewhere else, and it's been introduced to our natural areas. And once that's happened, it has the ability to take over and cause a lot of problems in our forests. So how did invasive plants come to get into our ecosystems? There's many ways. Some of them were accidentally introduced. Some of them were also introduced through gardening or horticulture, such as the plant behind me, burning bush, the non-native burning bush. And the very qualities that led people to select them for gardening are the same qualities that allow them to outcompete our native species. So many of them are highly adaptable. They can use different types of soil, so wet or dry, um, you know, sunny conditions or shaded conditions. They're also just tough plants. Often they have heavy seed production, and that allows them to disperse themselves widely. So what happens when invasive plants get out of control in our natural areas? If you look behind me, you'll see a whole carpet of green. And most of what you see is an invasive plant called winter creeper. So looking at this, you can see an example of the way that some invasive plants have the ability to completely transform the environment, the ecosystem, and reduce the amount of native plants that would normally occur over time. So right now we're looking at an area that was once covered in invasive species, but is currently undergoing management. If you think about the area we just looked at, it was a full carpet of invasive plants. And you look at what's around us right now, you'll see the natives that were able to remain within that blanket of invasive plants and how sparse they are at the moment, though they are recovering in this area and with years of more management, we'll be able to come back. So what can you do to help our forest recover from the impact of invasive plants? First of all, sign up to volunteer with Cincinnati Parks. We have hundreds of volunteers help us every year removing invasive plants from our forests, and we're very grateful for that. If you see a healthy forest in Cincinnati, it's probably because we've had lots and lots and lots of help from the community. There's multiple community organizations that you can get involved with, such as Northside Green Space, Preserve Burnett Woods, and many others. Another thing that you can do is to practice good trail etiquette. Don't hike off trail. You can spread invasive plants when you do so. And when you leave a park or enter a park, clean the bottom of your shoes off. If you have mud on your shoes, you're probably tracking invasive plant seeds in that mud as well, such as garlic mustard or Japanese stiltgrass. And finally, on your own property, if you have invasive plants, please try to remove them. And when you go to plant plants, choose native plants. Even though Ohio has a recent law that bans the sale of 38 recognized invasive species, there are many more still for sale that we do know are problems in our forests. So please avoid purchasing and planting those plants. If you have any questions about invasive plants on our properties, please reach out to the Conservation and Land Management Department. Also check the Ohio Invasive Plant Council website to determine which species may be invasive or non-invasive in this area. Thank you.